Hey guys, welcome back. Maris here. Today we have again still continuing Steam Summer Sale 2019 and this video is all the best games under five bucks. All right, let's jump right to the list. It's a huge list, uh, 50 in total. Down in the description you will find it, but I will split the video in two parts. So this is part one. I will cover 25 and I will start with the lowest Steam rating and it goes up to the highest. So probably more gems games you can find in uh, this part because it's lesser known but anyways enough of that let's jump first in our title oh where's my music jesus christ so um i will spend little time to the uh, on the games you down in the description is the links find the game look for yourself Check out the strategy, medieval, city builder, real-time strategy, historical, whatever you can find about the game, and then consider once again if you want to purchase it. Currently, 90 freaking percent discount. Two, three, three, three euros. Sorry, yeah, the, the price is in euros because I'm in Europe, but it's always exact same in, in dollars. So this is the this is Stronghold Crusaders. This is second part, and I will I try to put all the games uh, in the series or expansions right next to it. So obviously, no doubt, you can see it's quite positive. Lately, it's rated only 63%, but trust me, it's a great game. It's actually a really great game. It's Crusader. And if you look on the next title, yes, it is the main game. This is a st Stronghold and it has uh, uh, HD version basically it's it's the same but updated to fit for uh, nowadays computers and everything show me from the beginning yeah and it's the same strategic medieval uh, real-time strategy base building classic one of the best games ever uh, there is I, I, I don't think there's a year not a single year where, where I'm not installing uh, one the, the main or the Crusader again and play it again because it's so much freaking fun Right, and as you can see, this game is well. Look, look at the rating. Look at look at the rating. Absolutely amazing. Ninety nine cents. It's not even a dollar. It's not even a dollar. And yes, you can play it with your friends. All right, moving on. Next game we have. Uh, this is um, interesting. Interesting uh, style. Interesting title. Omerta City of Gangsters. Uh, strategy, crime, simulation, management, RPG. There is a lot of elements and. Uh, I will admit the fight, the combat is a bit clunky and, and stuff, but overall it, you manage manage the city from the top view, kind kind of like a Monopoly style, but in a moment when it comes, there's there's your characters, there's your ba uh, your gang, and you go and fight and you equip them, and, and this this is pretty pretty interesting game. I I think it's a little bit under. Um, Evaluated 61 56 percent but if you want it you can check out the game down in the description links three euros maybe this game is actually something you are looking forward go grab one because steam summer sales is soon over all right so next is something interesting there's also a patch so um game is uh, i'll just show you why i switched though so this is a patrician three right right Keep that in mind, cost nothing, strategy, simulation, trading, RPG, economy. So basically, it's a, it's, this is a really good picture. In Europe, you basically are a trader, patrician, awesome. But you can build in a city, you can become a uh, mayor, you can build ships. There's a lot of things. And why I have this one, because this is patrician for gold. And to be honest, I have played three and four and both of them are great and obviously the fourth is updated and better version kind of but check for yourself and this is a gold version that includes four steam special that is still under five buck five bucks uh, right rise of dynasty a dlc which is still under five bucks and combined together they are still freaking below five freaking bucks right <laughs> so those are the two games I can show you this is basically the main of it. So one is Patrician 3, there will be separate links. And another one is uh, Patrician 4, which is kind of Steam Special Edition, I don't know. The rating is totally awful, but 
yeah, it's not that bad. It's not that different, actually, those games. And it's quite amazing. It's I yeah, check for yourself. Check your you can make your ship trade routes, uh, the price adjustments. Maybe there's yeah, that's actually how you can see the city and develop and and spend money on building uh, houses for inhabitants. There is more than just shipping around, right? So if the game interests you, go check it out. Next one in line. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes, you see it right. We are. I am talking about 90, 97 released game, Industry Giant. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, the game actually has a video. Nice. <laughs> so <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. One of my games that I grew up with, if you are familiar with Transport Tycoon Deluxe uh, and any other kind of uh, railroad tycoon, railways, a lot of such styles. Well, where there is railroads and railways, then you are limited with transporting only with railroads. This is industry giant where you can transport with I believe also there should be a ships if if I'm not mistaken with um, Transport Titan Deluxe because that's a really similar game but currently as you can see the game can be purchased for 4 euros strategy, strategy simulation because Industry Giant is not only about transporting but is trans transporting right materials at the right volume to the right factory to produce higher value to well, Obviously, it's all all to get more money and, and, and gain, but that's really complex and interesting game because nowadays everything is too easy to do whatever you want. You will be a winner, that kind of lifestyle. This game, no, no, no. You, ha you have to plan, you have to see, you have to think and then build. This is actually, as you can see, 75%. Eh, why? Just maybe give it a try. Check it out down in the description, link, all that. All right, another style, another style, and I will tell you right away, obviously, Dying Light is better, but Dying Light is way more expensive, and this is a different game, but before Dying Light came out, this was my uh, best um, zombie killing game. And this is that island retied definition, uh, defini definitive edition, sorry. I wanted to say de definition. <laughs> so this is us actually update, next version, and I should have right next to me the same movie is um, actually the, the main main game. This is updated version, like next title. One came in 2016, May. Yeah, because this is definition, definitive edition. So yeah, that's why. But anyways, there are two different games. Uh, both of them are quite awesome. They're pretty interesting to kill the zombies. As you can see, zombies, action, call play open world survival and yeah this is exactly the same um yeah five bucks this one also five bucks check it out i will tell you right away there is no parkour no such awesomeness as dying light but still pretty awesome game pretty i think cool story uh, you will see for yourself i will not spoil anything go check them out absolutely amazing games all right this is another something from my youth look at the date oh hell yeah and this is i think one or not the only no there will be another one uh cartoonish style game but it actually is simulation management retro and ec economy economy so you basically have your airline and you have to purchase planes uh get the trade roads or transport goods uh hire employees and you are always competing with three other um you see you see uh, and compete with other um airline tycoons because whenever there's a need for something either you provide it or your um enemy provide and yes there is also terrorize your competition there's awesome awesome things actually and it is a bit tougher it looks cartoonish and easy i don't don't get fooled it actually as you can see this and you have to run around the the, the airport yourself to, to access separate buildings separate um, management or, or whatnot it is awesome game currently come on this is not a price this is something that you <laughs> that, that's 
you can't even buy a, your favorite candy anymore with such this this small amount so anyways check it out airline tycoon deluxe awesome game awesome game you see people just say it's awesome it's not only me <laughs> all right moving on we have yeah nope we have only one entry of heroes of might and magic because actually heroes of might and magic 5 i don't like when it's switched to 3d so this is actually a classic and another reason let me quickly show check all other heroes well no, no, this is five, not no, but other, uh, they are more expensive. They are out of five backs limitation. So, eh, nope. So this is, yeah, uh, HD edition. Those who don't know, Heroes of Might of Magic, there's a huge, long series and it's awesome game. But I'd say the most played, the, the, the core essence that, that was, that, that captured the player base was Might of Magic. Three because uh, two was still a bit um, pixel style and and the first one was just drawn images but this when this came out this this breathtaking um, animation as you can see updates and visuals it was just blast and yeah it stands for 85 uh, recent and mixed only 67 I don't know why uh, <laughs> this is amazing game strategy classic turn turn-based strategy yeah that's turn-based game and fantasy uh currently available for 374 i don't know i don't know how you can be a gamer or play games without knowing what the hell is heroes of might and magic i, I, I i'm speechless all right anyways moving on i already s showed you a little glimpse let me check we have incredible adventures of one helsing 3 final cut which is something uh yeah this one i need to close sorry too much opens so let me show what we have we have incredible one helsing first came out and to 2013 then incredible adventures of one helsing 2 which came a year later then third version again one year later uh, this is the worst rated and then we have even in the same year final cut so there's there's four one the hell things i don't know i have played them all they are as i as i mentioned this is a little bit overlap with my previous in the series for each individual titles because this is well price based approach so they all stand for one thing well not one rpg adventure hack and slash action indie game and oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, how much hours you can spend there. Because you have different um, characters you can choose. Uh, this dark humor, this this ghost is absolutely amazing. She has such a remarks whenever you play. She's mentioning like, oh yeah, of course, boring you or whatever. There's really the sarcasm is right on spot. And you can play many characters. There's uh, the, the archer, the bomberman, the... the uh, different styles for each style you have different uh um abilities that you can you level up this is, i will not show each and every one of them but they are the same uh just in a series first second third and then final cut each of them as you can see uh 449 for the latest one one and a half euros for third version one and a half second. One and a half is just, they're just giving you away just for free. Of course, you can check out the packs and everything, but you see this, that's not what I'm here to show. This game, playing, uh, equipping, modding uh, your items and all that, and then skills. It is, it is awesome. It's still hack and slash, but this is one of, one of, not the only one which I support. Okay, Torchlight maybe a little bit and maybe a little bit. Path of Exile, but that's out of the question. All right, moving on. <laughs> the video will be too long already, I can feel. All right, some of you might think like, what the hell is this here? But trust me, not everyone thinks the same. So I think we have at least, yes, four fucking Batmans. And I try to sort them in a year. Basically, this is game of the year uh, edition that always includes, I. If I'm not mistaken, this 
sometimes it's hard to see what the f they are selling, but Game of the Year edition always includes usually all the updates, all the expansions, all the DLCs. Uh, f hard for me to tell because in Steam you can't find ba uh, Batman, Arkham, Islam, uh, just casual version. It's, it's only Game of the Year available. Anyways, it's under 5 euros, came out in 2010. Uh, who doesn't know the game is stands for action batman stealth third person fighting let me see if we can find something in action basically you are a batman you you go and fight uh, um well i don't need to tell you what the fuck batman is if i have to explain you what batman is just, i don't know go read the comics watch a movie whatever watch a you get the point and yeah there's Still, uh, as I far as far as I remember, unlocks uh, gadgets, tools, and it's not as boring as it sounds at the beginning. So yeah, there's one game, then the next one came out in two years, uh, Arkham City, still under five bucks. So yeah, you can see the rating, pretty freaking high. Uh, then we have Arkham Origins. I think that this is also a little bit lower rating, but. Fucking, this still is, this, it's a Batman. We are talking about Batman. <laughs> so, yeah, again, Batman action, open world superhero. And the last one is Arkham Knight. Came out just well, kind of recently. Well, four, five years, four years back. Uh, but still, under five bucks. And still the same. Batman, you see, Batman has actually a, a tag. It's Batman. <laughs> So no one gets confused, like, what is Arkham Knight? It's a Batman. There's a tag for it. Action, open world, superhero, dark. I don't know why it's dark. Well, most of the action happens during the night, if not all of it. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> so anyways, down in the description, all the links, everything you can find yourself. Bat Batman games currently available under five freaking bucks. Then what we have is Just Cause 3. I don't have it listed Just Cause 2 or Just Cause 4 because Just Cause 4 is freaking expensive <laughs> in term, because it's recently released game. So, But you can get previous version, which is still uh, causing mayhem, uh, killing everyone with most explosives ever, driving like a crazy, flying around. Pff, check the rating. 90 and uh, overall rating 74. It's still open world action, distraction. How much games you have seen so far, which has tag distraction, right? This is the first one. Even Batman don't have distraction tag because just cause does adventure. <laughs> adventure, right? All right, let, I, I, I'll leave it there, adventure. <laughs> yeah, you see the adventure, you are in a mech you are driving a boat you are whatever you're driving you're shooting or making things explode around you jesus freaking christ three euros three bucks three euros come on come on mate <laughs> you see the title already says how much awesome ratings it, it has maybe check it out down in the description link the game is uh, great the game is great for three fucking bucks it's absolutely amazing Moving on, back to basics. 2001st, yes, you see it right, mostly positive. Uh, recent reviews, I guess some teenager, uh, millennial, special snowflakes, entitled uh, little kids bought the game and said, eh, it's too hard for me. And that's why the current recent rating is down. But overall, the rating is pretty high because this is Fallout Tactics Brother, Brotherhood of Steel, which is, in my opinion, one of the best uh, Fallout Tactics game. It is still, uh, well, not still, come on, look at the year. It's pretty, let's say the graphics is the least of, of, of their, uh, how to say, Well, the, the worst, the graphics is the worst. The play style, the talent, the talents, the, the points, the items, the tactics, the shooting, the, the, it's turn-based, post-apocalyptic RPG strategy turn-based game. Absolutely amazing. Uh, 
it's yeah three euros 29 cents and there's there's more of the style should be the, the default follow tactics game but brotherhood of steel is some later edition which is absolutely amazing if you are interested in such games if you like turn-based games and, and yeah there's seriously there are four images that you can sh i can show thanks thanks <laughs> but this is actually really 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 amazing game uh if you like if you don't uh, if you're not afraid of a little bit worse than graphics but in terms to get awesome playstyle story um dialogues approaches uh, stealth uh, the game this is yeah check it out it's maybe for you all right moving on next game obviously we have also red alert 3 there is red alert 3 and red alert 3 uprising this is actually expansion look at the rating 85 90 and uh, this should be something similar the same uh strategy real-time strategy strategy sorry for uh base building multiplier sci-fi and this should be exactly the same because there's extra things and extra campaign if i remember correctly japan style anyways check out yourself check the game this is red alert we are speaking command and conquer this is one of the old gamers what we have played old command and conquer just red alert red alert uh, 2 yuri's revenge tiberian wars all of them they are all amazing oh this dude <laughs> it's it's trust me it's it's great it's great when you have to play tanya tanya cha -ching, come on <laughs> this is cha -ching was in the first red alert but anyways let's I, I, i'm getting a bit sidetracked and if i'm now if i'm thinking correctly i could pick up let's see shall we shall we this is not as long of this video as i thought it will let's see the bundle because one of the additions is uprising which costs you 2.49 euros and um, the same cost is just for red alert let's see what we have in the bundle we can yeah uprising tiberium wars also is under five then kane's wrath is also under five and then freaking Command and Conyer Far, Tiberian Twilight, let me see. Tiberian Wars. All of the games. All of the games. Tiberian Wars. Oh, this was, yeah, where you had to uh, get Tiberium. Kane's Wrath. Yeah, this was this fucked up version, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, these are all strategy RTS base building sci fi games. Check for yourself. You don't need to buy all of them. The Barian Twilight. Let me think. Yeah, this this was the fucked up as you can see. This you know, I will close it. I will not show you. That was where they screwed it up. So the uh, common and corner three. Uh, this is the last. You see the rating. Jesus Christ, 93 percent, 96 percent. There's only a few games with so high rating. And yeah, all of them. They will be down in the description. Even these I just opened up. Uh, find. Uh, check for yourself two and a half bags all the common and con your not all each separate entity costs less than five bucks altogether they are a bit more expensive than that but check for yourself maybe just buy one of them just buy play it you still have your time until summer sales is there maybe you can purchase others later all right and last in the entry last in this part one uh what i have is oh boy oh boy oh boy prototype one of the kind games uh later on obviously i, I can i can no batman is not similar uh the same spider-man uh, on on, on uh, ps4 is something similar basically where you have a city city is all your playground and you are you have your story you have your mission you are trying to understand why the fuck you can grow such a arm I'm sorry, but there is no video for the game, but actually this is mind-blown crazy shit that is going on there. What you can do, you can run up the building, jump super high, a little bit fly, 
smash to the ground, uh, pick up your hand as a huge whip or, or a hammer or a slicing axe and just obviously enemies and tanks and, and you see this this is actually your arm this is not a weapon so you are a prototype you have uh your um body has a uh, well there's an inf how to put it on influence on you or experiments done to you so you can transform yourself into some really really creepy things and basically the game is about you try to find out what the fuck happened with you meanwhile you do some pretty crazy things action S my apologies one of the best similarities will be with just cause just in just cause there's also some weird weapons but mostly you have explosives and c4 and grenades and and explosions comes from fuel tanks and and cars exploding here is no not so much explosion there's more also explosion but you yourself you don't you can also shoot you can use weapons you can uh, trust me that's no fun fun is taking out your crazy things that you have to unlock you have to uh, process uh, proceed the story so this is absolutely one of my favorite games from all time uh, 79 percent rating in part two all the games are above 80 percent even if we had some just because there's other in series close together i put them together but rest of the games are just with even better ratings so stay tuned for the part two i'm closing the video now so it's not too long because people don't like long videos so keep in mind guys there's only five days five days left for summer sale so if any of those titles are interested for you go and grab one if summer sale sale is over and game is still interesting for you obviously you can purchase but this is the best time to purchase if you have uh, any of these titles interested go check grab one and yeah thanks for watching we'll meet in next part i'm creating and separating it right away so you can still manage to purchase them the games on summer sale 2019 all right cheers enough of me speaking <laughs> click like and share video bye